So this is Cyber Skull's final appearance as a Mighty Max playset and he has gone big. With a battle warrior set called Mighty Max shuts down Cybot. It's a physical body for one of Mighty Max's most fierce foes. Cybot is one really cool robot. So much better than my previous robot review, the horror head Mighty Max against Android Invader. I'm missing one of the missiles here, the Ram missile. The sore looking one I do have is called Backslash and the big accessory bolted onto the back here is called the Cybernetic Cruiser. I think the Robocop comparisons are going to be really hard to avoid, like we have Megacorp who are the makers of this Cybot, and then you've got OCP, the creator of ED209. Pull away some of that OCP polish and embed a ghastly skull and you've basically got this battle warrior. So Cybot here has two parts to him. This skull is like the command center for Cybot and opens up to reveal this sort of computer array. Opening up the chest cavity however and we get the Cyber Skull figure and the inner workings of Cybot. A true feat of craftsmanship, these Battle Warrior sets never really made amazing play sets on their own. I still really like the direction they went here with them, creating a larger enemy figure for Mighty Max to fight. And coupled with the complimentary Doom Zone, the Cyber Skull one, you had a pretty awesome set going. So for the Cyber Skull Doom Zone, we did actually get a few other figures, like the central brain character that basically controls all Cyber Skull's programming, as well as the Cyber Surfer, which was the enemy figure for one of Megacorp's games, Cyber Surfer. But look, the story here for this battle warrior is Cybot and Cyber Skull get sent out by Megacorp, the villainous Megacorporation, to destroy the world's data banks. Pure evil, guys. Mighty Max gets alerted by a newscast he's watching that Cybot is on the prowl here in Australia and with the TV remote, Max heads through a portal to head off the menace. Using the remote, Max is actually able to disrupt Cybot, forcing Cyberskull to pursue Mighty Max one on one. But clever Max is able to trick Cybot into dicing Cyberskull. So, Mighty Max Shuts Down Cybot was one of the last Battle Warriors released for the toy line, with Cyber Skull actually being one of the more popular villains brought into the cartoon series. He actually had two separate episodes, the Cyber Skull Virus and Cyber Skull 2 The Next Level. In the second episode, Cyber Skull comes back from the depths of cyberspace to influence this cult-like following to move his programming into a massive physical body. Kind of a similar concept on how we got Cybot, I don't really think anything could compare to the classic Cyber Skull episode where Mighty Max has to fight inside the computer program itself, but... I must escape back into the fifth stream. Yeah, well, I don't know how to tell you this, Marlin, but when you shut down the world's electrical power, <laughs> you shut down the world's computer networks. There's no way back into the fifth stream. Maybe you can't have too much power. What am I doing here? Where's my pocket protector? Anyway, made for a really cool little battle warrior set here. I still really prefer Pharaoh Fang and Lava Beast. I feel like the colors and textures there made for a really interesting figure and both of them really have a lot more nostalgia for me. But Cyber Skull has a pretty special place in the Mighty Max lineup, if for nothing else, and how much they remind me of the classic cartoon series. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and subscribe if you want some more cool leftover culture stuff. If you really like the toy line, be sure to check out a few more reviews or head over to the website to see the images in higher resolution. Cheers, thanks for watching and check you later.